we're finally getting a Black Widow movie! Seriously, Marvel Studios, what took you so long? While we can't wait for the movie, one has to wonder what it'll be about, since, you know, Black Widow is kinda dead now. We think it'll be a prequel that'll take place long before the Avengers first assembled, and we have some idea as to what the plot will be about and what it could mean for Black Widow's story in the MCU. Black Widow's death in Avengers Endgame was very emotional and sad, and it still brings a tear to our eyes whenever we watch it. Natasha Romanoff had become one of the most interesting characters in the MCU, and saying goodbye to her is hard. Luckily, Natasha's death isn't the end for her, and Marvel Studios is finally doing a Black Widow standalone movie. While very little is known about the movie, it's pretty obvious it can't take place after Avengers Endgame, since we don't think a two-hour film about a corpse would be very interesting. Sorry, too soon? We think the film will take place a few years before the events of Iron Man 2, and the Black Widow standalone movie will be an origin story. That actually makes sense. After all, we never got to explore Black Widow's past, and everyone loves a good origin story. It's something that defines the hero, and helps us see where they started in relation to where they ended up. Black Widow appeared in seven MCU films. Well, eight if you count Captain Marvel's post credit scene, and there's something poetic about Black Widow getting a solo movie after her death. We know how her story ends, but now we can see how it all started. Natasha Romanoff has come a long way since her first appearance in Iron Man 2, and it'll be interesting to explore her origins and see what type of a person she was before becoming an Avenger or joining S.H.I.E.L.D. Black Widow has a rich history in the comics, and there are some truly, really fantastic stories for Marvel Studios to draw from. Name of the Rose and Homecoming are just some of her best. That being said, we think that the Black Widow movie will be a mixture of some of her best stories with the MCU touch. Marvel Studios rarely does a direct adaptation from the comics, and they always add their own spin on things, which makes sense considering the fact that many of these characters have been around for decades, and their stories and origins tend to change and get retconned every once in a while. Many fans consider Captain America the Winter Soldier to be one of the best MCU films, and it was the film that really set Black Widow up as a fascinating and compelling character. While Black Widow's role in 2012's The Avengers was good, we feel like the Russo brothers gave Natasha Romanoff a real arc, and made her feel like a character who has real purpose and importance in the story. We think that since The Winter Soldier, Black Widow came into her own and became an integral part of The Avengers. Captain America The Winter Soldier wasn't just a great superhero movie, it was a spy thriller, and we hope that the Black Widow movie will follow the same style. We want the standalone film to be an international spy movie, a bit of James Bond and Mission Impossible mixed in with some superhero elements. We don't need to see Black Widow clashing with aliens or superhuman beings. We want to see a gritty and realistic action movie where we see Black Widow at her best, kicking tons of butts, doing spy stuff, and just being all around awesome. Ever since Iron Man 2, Black Widow was one of Nick Fury's most trusted agents. We all know that Fury loves his compartmentalization, and he doesn't trust anyone too easily. Like he keeps saying, the last time he trusted somebody, he lost an eye, because of an alien cat with tentacles in its mouth. So one has to wonder why would Fury trust a former KGB spy and assassin? For us, that's an interesting story. What made Fury trust Natasha, and how did she end up being an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D.? More importantly, Black Widow and Hawkeye clearly have a strong relationship, and it played a huge role in Endgame. The scene where Natasha sacrificed herself for the Soul Stone was a powerful moment, and it wouldn't be as emotional if not for the connection between the two characters. We hope to see how that relationship came to be. It's clear that Black Widow's past is very dark, and we hope to get a glimpse into it with some flashbacks. Besides, if movies like Captain America the First Avenger and Captain Marvel had proven anything, it's that it's always fun to see what the MCU world looked like before the Avengers first assembled. After Endgame, we think it makes sense to show a far darker period in Black Widow's life to really showcase her journey in the movies. Black Widow was trained as a spy and an assassin by the Red Room, and it was made clear that she was brainwashed and did some really messed up things before she joined S.H.I.E.L.D. We hope that the film will start with Black Widow still working for the KGB as she's going around the world doing bad things, brainwashed to believe that she's doing good for her country. In the first Avengers movie, when Black Widow talked with Loki, she revealed that before she worked for S.H.I.E.L.D., she did some terrible things in the KGB. And it led to Nick Fury sending Clint Barton to kill her. But upon Hawkeye confronting Black Widow, he decided to spare her life. We assume that this kind of act was the turning point for Black Widow, and the reason she eventually defected from the KGB and joined S.H.I.E.L.D. Seeing how it all played out will be very interesting to watch.
Every hero needs a good villain to drive them to do good, and one way to show Natasha's transformation is to give her a worthy counterpart. In the comics, Natasha Romanoff isn't the only Black Widow, and the Red Room actually trained Yelena Belova as Natasha's successor. Yelena ended up clashing with Black Widow multiple times, and she actually got some genetic modifications from Hydra at one point, something that gave her powers. We hope that Yelena Belova will show up in the Black Widow movie, and we believe that actress Florence Pugh will portray the character, who has been cast in the film in an undisclosed role. It could be cool to see Florence Pugh as Yelena, since the second Black Widow could be how Nick Fury ends up trusting Natasha. In Captain America Civil War, we found out that Hydra was developing super soldiers like the Winter Soldier. It's possible that Yelena will have some super soldier serum in her blood, something that could make her a serious threat as the new Black Widow. This leads to Nick Fury using Natasha to go after Yelena, since as the original Black Widow, Natasha will be an asset against the Red Room. Speaking of super soldiers, it was hinted at in the MCU that Black Widow and Bucky have some type of history. After all, they were both part of secret Soviet organizations, so it's possible we'll see the Winter Soldier show up in the standalone film. We hope to see Black Widow going on an international mission around the world, possibly with Hawkeye as her chaperone as she ends up clashing with Yelena and other Red Room agents. This mission could actually lead to Black Widow and Hawkeye traveling to Budapest, where we can finally get a payoff for the Budapest story that came up a few times in the MCU. During her mission, Natasha will have her eyes opened as she understands that she was brainwashed since childhood by her former masters. And she did some really messed up things for the wrong people. With that in mind, she'll have a change of heart and become much different from the person she used to be, which will serve as a turning point for her to become a hero. This is something we see a lot in origin stories, a point in the hero's life where they decide to take action after they understand that they have to change and become a hero to either make the world a better place like Captain America and Spider-Man or make up for their wrongdoings like Iron Man and Thor. All of this could lead to Natasha traveling back to Russia to confront her former employers and shut down the Red Room and the Black Widow program for good. We think that this plot will make sense for the Black Widow movie. Not only will we be getting a cool spy thriller, but we'll also have a better understanding of who Natasha Romanoff was before she became a hero. Something that could only make her journey in the MCU more compelling. While we think it's highly unlikely, the Black Widow movie could be a good way to introduce the X-Men to the MCU. In the comics, Black Widow and Wolverine have a relationship, not a romantic one, but more like a big brother and little sister type thing. Logan ended up saving Natasha when she was young, and over the years they've become very close. So it could be awesome if Wolverine shows up in the movie, either in a flashback or during Black Widow's mission to take down the Red Room. In the MCU, Hydra had their hands in every pocket, and it's possible that they were connected to the Weapon X program, just like the Winter Soldier program and maybe even the Red Room. While it'll be a bit out of the blue to add mutants into the MCU without any multiverse or time travel explanation, we think it could be fun if Marvel Studios starts sprinkling mutants in different Phase 4 films before doing an actual X-Men movie. And let's be honest, seeing the Wolverine show up in the film will make fans go crazy. Also, it's been revealed that David Harbour will be in the movie, so who knows? He might be our new Wolverine. Probably not, but like with everything online nowadays, we're right until we're proven wrong. Yeah, we might be grasping at straws here, since the mutants haven't yet appeared in the MCU. Plus, if Black Widow knew about Wolverine and other mutants, why didn't it come up earlier? That being said, the MCU is always growing, and sometimes retcons are needed to allow the story to develop in a natural way without the need to create some unique explanation for why something wasn't teased or introduced beforehand. Maybe the mutants were always around in the MCU, but they were hidden. Charles Xavier has exceptionally powerful telepathy, and he can do all kinds of memory and mind-altering stuff. So what if at some point Xavier used his powers to simply hide the mutants all around the world? Every time there's a mutant-related incident, the X-Men show up to fix it, and Professor X simply wipes the minds of any witnesses to the incident, making sure that mutants stay hidden, Men in Black style. Like we said earlier, it's highly unlikely. But you got to admit it would be cool. Plus, Black Widow team up with Wolverine? Who wouldn't want to see that? The Black Widow movie has tons of potential to be something really special. We're sure Marvel Studios has something great in store. And we can't wait to finally see Black Widow's origin story take place on the big screen. We're open for a cool spy thriller with some John Wick-style fight scenes, some Mission Impossible action, and a lot of charm from Scarlett Johansson. 
Will the Black Widow movie be a prequel taking place in the past or something else? What do you think about our X-Men theory? Let us know in the comments below, and if you liked this video, we appreciate it if you like and subscribe to CBR. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you in the next video.